Hello there guys, so this is the second video, probably a mini video-ish, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I wanted to make this video to kind of draw attention to and celebrate a, another witchy store that I really enjoy. And whenever I kind of do these videos I kind of feel like I have to <laughs> disclaimer, which is kind of sad, but uh, inevitably people are like, oh well you can make it yourself and you have your own store and meh meh meh, and I'm like, yeah, okay theoretically I could accept that this is somebody else's work it has a completely different uh, well, yeah a completely different feel to what a lot of um, that I do and I have and am and continue to go more like a, a, a I don't want to say darker because it's, it's such a stereotypical linear way of thinking it's it's this is a skull don't mind the skull just just there you go it's, <laughs> It's like pressing on the back of my head as I was leaning back, like, lean forward, Joey. Uh, so the store, anyway, is uh, a Kavulta. A Kavulta. I think it's a Kavulta. No, I think they're located in Italy, if I remember correctly. They're on Facebook, um, and they have their own store envy page. And I have purchased from them before. So things arrive quite quickly. Um, they're a good price. Now, what I got before is their flying ointment, which they no longer sell. Um, they have uh, a blog up, they talked about why they don't sell it anymore, and it's a shame, because their flying ointment uh, is, is really very good. Um, and I kind of expressed kind of like disappointment that, uh, that it's no longer a thing, but they've had problems, they've had copycats, they've had all sorts of drama and nonsense around their flying moments, so c'est la vie. So a Cavolta have kind of a gothic, darker witch style aesthetic. Um, I'm going to use the lid from the flying moment so you can see the... Come on. Please come on. There you go. This is their label. Um, they had it designed uh, by Ink and Blood or something, I've forgotten what her name is, but it's a fox skull, uh, a mixed poison and, and thistle and stuff, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I purchased some of their necromancy incense, and it comes like this. Um, and the reason of me purchasing it is there is uh, bone dust in here. Oh, they have a tumbler. Interestingly enough, the Tumblr is on here. Uh, Ocavolta.tumblr.com Now I have to go on Tumblr and check out their Tumblr, because I knew they had a... I know they have a story on Facebook, I know they have Facebook things. They're currently undergoing a little bit of a... Uh, a rebrand, sort of, I think. Or at least they're having new um, products. I kind of hope they continue to do the necromancy inserts. Now I've finally got some and tried it because I really like it, which is the whole point of this video is just a, a kind of a quick review of the Kofulda necromancy incense with the bone dust. Um, a lot of their... I'm going to get pull up their website. Well, I, I should have done that first, but you know, I've been under the weather. So, a lot of the... premise behind them is they have a lot of the poisons, the banefuls, involved in their, their incenses mainly, it's mainly incenses. Oh, that is not them. There's a band with the same name, that's interesting. They have kind of like a death path, a poisoner path feel to it. They follow a lot of like the traditional recipes. Um, it may be from the, the Strega tradition, um, I think. It's, uh, where's your store? There's the necromancy incense, okay. Okay. Made with the utmost reverence to the dead, it contains wormwood gathered by night, benzoin, copitic, 
Coptic frankincense, poppy seeds, hemlock, seed IU and human bone powder. So it's a poison path with a human bone powder, which I've got no access to the human bone powder. I just don't. So um, this was one of my reasons for getting it. And I have been working with my ancestors recently. This is an ongoing thing. This is kind of why I wanted to make this uh, video right now. So this, it smells so good. It really does smell so good. It's, it's really interesting how it has this kind of smell that reminds me of, you know if when you open really old musty tomb, tomb books um, and there's that gorgeous smell, not like an off smell, like that gorgeous archaic old paper and, and it kind of almost has like a mystery element smell to it. It smells like that. And I've used this once on a charcoal disc and it burnt beautifully um, to honour my ancestors and the smoke went straight up, it was a straight line, it was very, uh, it was an intense experience, it kind of uh, elevated the senses, it kind of took one out of oneself, which is exactly what I wanted from it. Um, it has obviously hemlock in there, you have to be reasonably sensible with utilising poisons and poison herbs. Um, so it's it's perhaps a, a incense when you've been working in the craft a little bit of time, um, you've gotten your shields down pat, you've gotten yourself ready for these experiences, you know how to cleanse yourself in case of any spirit activity that's no good, you know, it's um, a little bit further along the line. They do have other incenses which perhaps are uh, a little more beginner friendly if you like, um, but you know, it's not necromancy in terms of like, because it's necromancy incense and, and the, the aesthetic is all done uh, for a very particular aesthetic, and it's kind of like that that, that dark witch aesthetic. Um, but necromancy can be something as simple as lighting a votive to honour your ancestors, like that can be necromancy. So it's not necessarily like raising the dead or anything like that, but um, it does give off a particular aesthetic, and I love their aesthetic because I'm all like got I like my gothic sides of stuff, so I'm like, mm -hmm, it's beautiful. They do ship worldwide, they ship quickly. This is $24. Um, I believe it's in American dollars, pretty sure. Um, and it's a smallish pot. Does it say what the size is? Mm, no. But this is made according to the principles of the Verdant Gnosis. Gnosis right here, um, and the poison path, which I love. These are two things that I've been exploring a little bit more um, by myself recently. So it smells gorgeous, the energy was wonderful, the shipping was quick. It's not the cheapest, but um, given the ingredients, I'm okay with it because it's not easy to get hold of particular ingredients. And I did actually purchase something else from her, um, and she went out and um, got it for me specially, and I'm not going to be sharing that because that's a personal part, but I will say that she was incredibly helpful, um, stayed in contact with me, um, and that was all wonderful, and she, you know, sent a little extra herb and thing for me to get that going. So, yeah, I had a wonderful experience, and I'm happily purchased from them again in the future. Um, I have purchased this a number of weeks back now and I, I was like I will use it a couple of times before I make a recommendation video but I do I highly recommend it it's wonderful um, the smell is really good the energy is really vibrant and and it really does take you into that uh, ancestor space which is wonderful um, so yeah so that is that and that is that many blessings <laughs>